Hi everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Bites. Today I wanted to show you guys how to make this delicious pumpkin swirl cake. And I just had to include this next photo because my cat was super determined to be in it. So let's get started with the recipe. In a large mixing bowl, go ahead and add in three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour. And then you'll add half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir all of these ingredients together to combine and set that aside. Now in another large mixing bowl, we're gonna go ahead and start with the wet ingredients. So you're gonna need three whole large eggs and just whisk those together. And then you're gonna add in three quarters a cup of granulated sugar. Just kind of keep whisking as you're adding that in just to make sure that the sugar and eggs are combined well. Then we'll add in two thirds of a cup of pumpkin puree as well as half a teaspoon of vanilla and go ahead and stir all of those together once more. Grab your dry ingredients bowl and you're gonna add those to the wet and you can just dump them all in there at once. There's no need to do a little bit at a time because that is not a lot of flour and spices at all. So just give it a nice quick whisk and then you're gonna grab a spatula just to make sure that all that flour is incorporated. Just make sure you're not over mixing here because that will prevent you from having a nice fluffy cake. Grab a rectangular cookie sheet and then I ended up using a silicone baking mat just because I have quite a bit of those laying around. You can also use parchment paper but I don't recommend pouring this batter straight onto the cookie sheet or it will stick. So if you have a silicone mat, that's great, or even parchment paper, just make sure that you spread all that dough out evenly before we put it in the oven. Give that cookie pan a couple of taps just to get any air bubbles out, and then you're gonna bake this dough at 375 degrees for 12 to 14 minutes. I did mine for exactly 12 minutes. While that cake is baking, we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. So you're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese with six tablespoons of unsalted butter and make sure they are both at room temperature because you're gonna cream these together and it'll just be so much easier to mix them when they're at room temperature. Next up, we're gonna add in one cup of powdered sugar and I like to use a spatula just to kinda Combine that sugar with the butter and cream cheese before turning my mixer on, just so that you don't have powdered sugar flying all over the place. Now we'll add in one teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin spice seasoning. And if you like that strong pumpkin flavor in your desserts, make that a half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. Mix everything together once more and use your spatula just to make sure that all the edges are scraped down and everything is well combined. And set that cream cheese frosting to the side at room temperature until we are ready to frost the cake. When you pull that cake out of the oven, you can just sort of use your finger to press a little indent in there. And if it springs back up, that means it's perfectly cooked. So make sure that once you get this cake out, that you let it completely cool off before you put any sort of frosting on there. So what I like to do is, as soon as it's out of the oven, I let it sit for about five minutes just so it's not scolding hot. And then I flip that silicone mat over onto a parchment paper and you're just gonna go ahead and start rolling it. And I do like to use the shorter end because I like a nice thick rolled cake. You can also use the long end, you're just gonna have smaller pieces. But you're gonna go ahead and roll it with the parchment paper so that it can kind of remember the shape and form that it's in and just leave that sitting there for at least half an hour. Mine took a good hour to completely cool off. Once the cake is cooled off, go ahead and unroll it again and then we're gonna top it with that pumpkin spice cream cheese frosting. Just make sure to leave a little bit of a border on there so that you don't have frosting oozing out of there. But honestly, even if that happens, I like to just cut each end piece off the cake anyway and eat that right away because those aren't usually the prettiest. So if you do have frosting oozing out, that's completely okay. Go ahead and re-roll the cake and you'll find that it's a lot easier to roll back up this time. I like to sprinkle the top of my rolled cake with some powdered sugar. I think it just makes for a prettier cake and does add a touch more sweetness to it, but you don't have to do that step. 
and then go ahead and cut those edge pieces off like I did or you can leave them it's completely up to you just make sure you use a serrated knife don't use a flat one like I did the serrated one will just cut so much easier and that is all there is to it. Just wrap it up in cling wrap and leave it at room temperature if you have leftovers. No need to refrigerate. I hope you guys love this recipe. It's been a big hit with my friends and family. So if you do give it a try, let me know in the comments below, please. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. And I will see you guys next week with the next recipe. Bye.